Alrighty, good afternoon folks. It's a beautiful, beautiful spring afternoon. Got a couple of hours out here this afternoon. I uh, just got some stuff to do later tonight, but had a small window. I'm like, hey, let's just hit up the local, see how we go. And uh, wind's picking up just slightly here, so I'll put on the external mic um, so there's not too much wind noise, hopefully. I've uh, got all different things. We've got surfers, we've got deep divers, we've got paddle tails, all that sort of stuff. We'll just see how we go and uh, hopefully we can make something of it. So stick around and uh, see how we go. The other options in terms of lures that I've got today is sort of like skipping paddle tails and plastics. That's a new one. Hopefully we can get something on that. And also got some like chatter baits and uh, sort of deep diving cranks as well. So got a range of stuff to throw. Let's throw. Hmm, let's keep throwing the. No, we'll throw the surface later. So let's just throw this little paddle tail around. See if there's anything hanging around these little snags here. some pretty warm weather to start spring not gonna lie pretty warm for early spring let alone winter as well so we'll just see how we go some line here that i can see let's see if i can get rid of it it's like a bait fish out pretty heavy line i don't know what you're going for bait but anyway platypus in this little sticks here, I don't know if you can see it, there he goes, so cool. Yes, nice, oh I dropped it, damn it, damn. How many cars with that little dude? First fish drop. Definitely a skill issue these days. My goodness me. There we go, finally. Sitting on the bottom. This one feels all right, actually. Come on, happy come. Number one. Oh, that took a little while. Readjusting my drag and everything, and um, he's come out and clobbered it whilst it's sitting on the bottom. He's not a bad little fish. That's better than nothing. That's better than nothing. I'll take that. Very, very cool. Just love these fish in these little local creeks that I fish. Not the most graceful sort of catch at all, but um, that's the first. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come on the new Crush City heavy hitter there. Can't remember the name of that color there. Just rig weedless with a little sort of belly hook on it. He smashed it on the bottom. Cool little fish. Very, very cool. See you later, mate. That was fun. Thanks for that. It's Gonski. Hmm. It's the first little zone that I've seen that's had any sort of bait on it. I've fished all those other spots and it's just been bare, barely any sort of life to it at all. Little placky sitting towards the bottom, just slow rolling it. Absolutely clobbered it. 
So that's the lure doing the damage there. Just a little three inch heavy hitter by Rapala. Can't remember the color, but I'll pop it in the screen here somewhere. Just rigged on a really sort of lightly weighted belly hook. So I think that's probably like a quarter to an eighth. Hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Wasn't getting a lot of love on the frog or the chatterbait and crankbait. So I'll stick with this little paddle tail for a little bit around these sort of timber structures, see if there's any others hanging around. But um, yeah, that's very, very cool. Pop that there. This snag has been in this system for so long and I've, I don't think I've got a fish of it at all, ever. So that's the first one. So I'll just see if there's any any others hanging around in here. First cast. Come on then. Yes! How good's that? Oh, you just go back to what you usually throw. Your confidence baits. That was first cast with the top water. First cast. You had three goes out of this little dude. Just throw what they love. And that's a top water. That's so sick. Beautiful stuff. First cast with the top water. Oh, I'm throwing the paddle tails and subsurface stuff and just throw a little tiny little walking bait. And they love it. Awesome. Who doesn't love a little top water bite? There we go. It's a beautiful bass, probably mid 30, something like that. A little bit of damage on his fins there, but um, damn, I wish I brought my tagging gear. Could just tag a few more this afternoon. Number two, absolutely smashed that little little pencil there. So sick. Okay. <laughs> See you later, mate. Just on that little walking bait there. That's like a duo pencil, 65. Great, great little lure for me early season especially for bass and that sort of thing so now that I've got that I might keep it on what I did notice though was that the hooks were not too sharp especially if you had a couple of goes at it, it might be an indication that these hooks need to go so hang fire we'll change these hooks out and let's get back into it love throwing surface for these fish so just changed out one of those hooks because she was looking a bit James Blunt. So a little bit of bigger treble, so it might get caught up on that back one, but we'll just see how it goes. Rear one wasn't too bad. Nonetheless, it was still enough for them to hook up. So just took him a few goes to go at it. So to be honest, I don't actually care what sort of species it is. If it's on surface, that's pretty good, pretty fun. And with these sort of walking baits, they're actually pretty easy to use once you get the sort of technique down pat. So basically you just make long casts. I generally go like along the structure. So for example, this bank, I'm just going sort of parallel with it. Let it sit there for a bit, let the ripples kind of uh, go away. And then at the same time as you're winding like this, you are twitching the rod like this. So it's kind of like rubbing your belly and scratching your head patting your head at the same time so it does take a little bit of practice to get used to but you just keep just doing that you can see it's doing both at the same time and then pause and then go straight back into it and pause and generally like early season like i like to put it in a couple of pauses but sometimes they're really aggressive and it'll just smash it as soon as it hits the surface or they'll just like a constant retrieve so 
that one that was before it was kind of on a twitch twitch pause sort of pattern every day it's going to be different so just try and change it up and see if anything works for you but yeah doing them both at the same time plenty of pauses early season and just see if you can catch anything Nice, saw the boil behind it, yeah. Nice. 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 Good thing I changed that treble. It took one go for that guy. Yeah, nice. He's not massive, but beautiful colouring on him. Super bronze. Yeah, this is a the snag that I just caught him on. It's a new snag. I haven't seen that one before. Mind you, I haven't been here for probably, what, seven or eight months now. So, had a little bit of rain in between. And, um, yeah, this little dude was on it. So, look at that beauty. Not a very big fish, but look at the colours on it. Super golden. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Never get sick of their sort of top water eats, especially that one. I saw the little boil on it. He kind of boiled on it, and then I tweaked it a little bit more, and then he absolutely smacked it. So, it's just a beautiful, beautiful fish. To get them in the urban setting, pretty cool. All right, we'll see you later, mate. Thanks for that. That was fun. Gornski. So sick. So sick. I saw some bait flicking in there. Surely there was going to be a fish in there. Nice. Oh, he's going hard, this one. Oh, yeah, he's not a bad one. I think he's the best for the day. No, no, he's similar size. Just went real hard. Missed the attacker. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff, number four, number four, yeah. Yeah, similar sort of size to the last couple, but nonetheless fun on surface. Right in that little snag there, I saw a little bit of bait flicking, just twerked it a couple of times, he absolutely clobbered it. So that's always fun. Yeah, similar size to those last ones, pretty pudgy. A little pretty pudgy, but um, yeah, fun nonetheless. And nonetheless. All right, I'll see you later, my friend. Number four ski. See ya, mate. So cool. Yeah, literally this little snag here, I don't know if you can see it, but I flicked it in there and there was a little bit of bait spraying and stuff, so I just twerked it a couple of times and come out and annihilated it. That's what they've come off. They've all come off that sort of timber timber sort of structure even that earlier one so you know might just have to prod around these couple of last little timber things whilst we've got a bit of light left probably fish for another half an hour or so and then uh, call it there sun sun setting just over the clouds here birds chirping a little bit of mullet on the surface so really really fun time of day to go fishing <laughs> Yes. Oh. oh, he followed that one. Nice. Ooh. Ready to bring that lure back in. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Number five. Yeah, nice. See why I love fishing this time of day? So fun. Fishing surface. Okay. 
a little bit of like a ulcery looking thing on his face. What a way to end the session. Sort of last minute buzzer beater. That's a quality, quality fish in these little tiny little creeks. So it's good fun, surface fishing. See you later, my friend. He's gone.